What's up everybody, my name is Bobby and today we're gonna be taking a look at this guy. The stainless steel link bracelet from Apple for the Apple Watch. This guy is probably the most expensive band that Apple sells and this guy is 349. It's a little bit outdated in the sense that they haven't really made a revised version of it for the current generations, but this one, they all kind of are interchangeable. So like, you know, a 44 millimeter works with like a 42 and so forth. Like all the bigger size ones will work together and all the smaller size ones will work together. Now, I recently actually just pre-ordered my stainless steel Apple Watch Series 7, which won't arrive until the end of October, beginning of November in that time frame. So to kind of complete the look, I wanted to pick up the stainless steel link bracelet and just kind of have like a full blown stainless steel setup, which is something I've been kind of shooting for for this year. And this seemed like the nicest choice. So I've tried other link bracelets in the past. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of them usually because they kind of get caught, like my hair on my arms gets caught in them. Um, but when you go ahead and open this guy up, I can pull the little tab. Just forewarning, I've already taken it out and set it up, so I'll show you in a second. But you'll get like kind of the little information paper. It's gonna give you some information on how to adjust the actual links. The band itself will be sitting right here, along with, um, I actually don't know what's in that little slot. But right here, you actually get this little pouch, which is like a little microfiber pouch that you can go ahead and put your extra links in. And then as for the bracelet itself, here it is. So right now I have it on my aluminum series six, so it's not quite looking as good as I know it will. But once that stainless steel model comes in, I think that's gonna be looking pretty slick. Now it is, I believe, what's called a butterfly clasp. So it'll snap like so, and then you push these little buttons and it pops open. Um, and honestly, it's probably the nicest link brace that I've ever personally owned. So I'm not much of like a really fancy watch guy by any stretch of the imagination. But in the link bracelets I've owned before, you always had to use this like weird tool and push out a pin in the side to like adjust how many links you wanted and on which side. With the Apple one, I don't know if you see, but it actually has these little buttons similar to what you'll see on the actual Apple Watch itself to interchange the actual band. And so when you press one of these buttons, it actually lets you pop the link out and you can literally just from there, take out and add as many links as you'd like. And that is like a brilliant design in my opinion. Maybe that's standard practice and like real nice actual fancy watches, but at least from Apple link bracelets, I've never seen anything like that. And then to reattach it, you go ahead and just push it in there and boom reconnected and so as for the fit it took me a while to kind of dial in how i liked it to sit but i'll do like one side then the other and there you have it this thing is super nice so as for how it feels it's honestly the most comfortable metal bracelet I've had. It's not super heavy weight, but it definitely feels like good quality. I haven't noticed that my hair gets caught in it at all. I don't really know what causes that or what doesn't. But as for like the actual, you know, way that it sits on my wrist, it's not uncomfortable. I actually went on a run with this, which I normally would never do. I usually always use some sort of sportsman when I'm on a run, but I figured I would just try it out to see if there was any difference in comfortability with that, this nice of a bracelet. Cause usually I feel like if somebody's gonna spend almost the price of a full aluminum Apple watch on just the band itself, you'd wanna have it be something that you wear all the time and that you're not having to take off for certain use cases. I can confirm that this is totally fine to run with. I mean, it's, it's it's really nice metal quality, so you can like obviously shower with it or do anything like that. And so sweat wasn't really the concern. It was more so the comfortability of it. Now I did notice it at first when I was on the run, it kind of felt like it was rubbing against my wrist a little bit, but after like maybe two or three minutes of like me actually noticing it, I completely forgot it was even there and it was totally fine. So that was a positive thing for me, for sure. 
Now, in the actual packaging, since this is for much older Apple Watches, or at least it hasn't been revised since, you know, a couple versions back, it actually references that once you put the bracelet on, you can go and get like this, you know, limited edition watch face that only people who have this band can wear. At least I'm pretty sure that's what this is referring to. And every, I saw a bunch of pictures too that also kind of indicated that. I have not been able to figure it out. So I don't know if that's something they took away a couple watch OS versions later or what the deal is with that, but I have not been able to find this watch face. It's not anywhere to be found, especially when I have the band on. So that was a little bit disappointing, but I mean, it's not the biggest deal. It's just something I figured I would mention. And yeah, I have this little pouch for all my extra links, which is really convenient as well. But yeah, other than that, really not too much more to say about it. I just wanted to show you guys this. I'll obviously make a video when I do my, you know, Series 7 unboxing. And I'll put this guy on it and kind of show you the whole look that I was going for. Um, obviously, I'll also be showing it in an upcoming EDC video once I get all my kind of like stainless steel looking stuff in for the year because that's kind of the vibe i've been going for this year but if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up i really do appreciate it and i will have a ton more apple watch content coming in the near future once i get my new watch thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time peace